Membrio is a wonderful quince paste, which is a brilliant accompaniment to cheese. However, the traditional way of making it is long and messy. This is a much quicker method using a microwave. You can also use it for making quince jam and pâté de fruits. Quinces are really hard, which means they're difficult to prepare. So we'll use the microwave to soften them first, before pureeing them and boiling them down into membrio. Everything's done in the same bowl, so start off by finding the largest heat-proof bowl that fits in your microwave. That will determine how big each batch is that you cook. During the cooking, the temperature goes well above boiling, so don't use plastic. See how many quinces fit into your bowl, get some sugar and a lemon handy, and we're ready to start. You don't need to peel the quinces, but you do need to remove the furry surface. The easiest way to do that is to rub them with a plastic scouring pad, also removing any black bits from the bottom of the fruit. Rinse them under the tap, prick each one four or five times with a fork, pop them back into the bowl and into the microwave. It doesn't need covering, just cook them at full power for eight minutes. When that's done, take them out and let them cool for 15 to 20 minutes. Remember to wear some thick oven gloves because the bowl is going to be very hot. Keep any juices in the bowl, and once the quinces are cool enough to handle, cut them in half. Then cut out the bottom black piece and remove the hard core and the seeds. Depending on how old the quinces are, some of the flesh may have oxidised, which turns it brown. It doesn't look great, but it tastes perfectly fine, so you can leave all of that in. If any of the skin is blemished, then cut that off. Once you've prepared the flesh, cut it into small pieces and weigh it. You'll probably have between 500 grams and a kilo. Pop it back into your bowl, add exactly the same weight of sugar and mix them together. Finally, add the juice of one lemon, cover the bowl with cling film, make a couple of large slits to let the steam out and put the bowl straight back into the microwave. Don't leave it sitting around at this point or the quince will start to go tough, which means that your membrio will end up a lot grainier. Cook it at full power for another eight minutes. Take the bowl out, carefully remove the cling film and puree it with a stick blender until it's a fine, even texture. Pop a new piece of cling film over the top, remember the slits, and stick it back in the microwave for six minutes at full power. When it's done, Take it out very carefully as it may still be boiling and bubbling. Take the cling film off and have a look at it. If it's starting to crystallise on the sides of the bowl, or if the surface is looking slightly more solid and pockmarked, it may already be done. It all depends on how much pectin there was in the quinces. Using a silicon spatula, stir it carefully around the outside, then blend it all together, going from edge to centre, folding it over until you have a consistent mixture. Continue stirring it for a few minutes to let it cool, then stand your spatula up in the middle of the bowl and see if it stays upright by itself. If it does, lean it over to one side. If it stays supported or just falls over very slowly, you're ready to pot the membrio. Otherwise, it will need a bit more cooking. In that case, put another piece of cling film over the top, pop it back into the microwave and cook it for another four minutes, then stir and test it again and keep on doing this until you get to the point that your spatula doesn't fall over. Now let it cool for a few minutes. Spoon it into some plastic containers, pop them in the fridge and leave them for at least six hours for the membrio to set. Once it's set, it's easy to get it out of the container. Just pull the side until you see an air gap start to appear. Hold the side out, turn the container upside down over a plate or a piece of baking paper and continue flexing the side and massaging the top of the container until the membryo flops out. And that's it, you have your membryo. If you wrap it in greaseproof paper, it will store for around a year in a cool dry place. Or you can wrap it in cling film and it will freeze for a couple of years. You can also cut it into small squares, dust those with lightly ground granulated sugar, leave them out to dry for a few days and you have delicious pâté de fruits. If you prefer quince jam to the fully set membryo, you can use the same process, but stop once you've pureed it. That should be at the right consistency to put straight into hot jars and you have your quince jam. I hope you found this useful. It's a much quicker and easier way of making membryo. Thank you for watching and enjoy your membryo.